All right, heating up a frozen dinner is quick, it's easy, we know this, and opening a bag of chips will satisfy your salt craving. But ultra-processed foods like those have now been linked to dozens of different health problems. Yeah, Dr. Dina is a primary care physician. She joins us now to talk about the potential dangers of mm -hmm. these foods. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, so we're showing that the, there were findings from the British Medical Journal directly linking ultra-processed uh -huh. foods to 32 different types of health conditions. What are your thoughts about that? Yeah, so I've always been a huge advocate for food as medicine, talking about using food to help prevent and treat disease. So this is a study that just justifies everything that I tell my patients every day, which is try to limit as much processed ingredients as possible for your health. So what's yeah. the difference, because I was saying right there, ultra-processed, what's the difference between ultra-processed foods and processed foods? Sure, so processed foods is any change in food from its natural state. It can be something as simple as freezing food. So taking something like broccoli, freezing it, and putting it into the freezer bag to sell at the grocery store. But ultra processed foods actually have a lot more chemicals and additives that are put in there to help increase shelf life, as oh. well as increase the ability for these foods to sell because they taste better. And in the American diet, about 60% of our foods are ultra-processed foods. Wait, but what's an example? Is the potato chip that I would get in the vending machine, is that ultra-processed versus the... Broccoli in the freezer. Yeah. Yeah, so the broccoli in the freezer would be minimally processed, mm -hmm. and something like a potato chip, depending on the added ingredients, can be ultra-processed. The most common things in our diet here in America that's ultra-processed are hot dogs, chicken tenders, mm. hamburgers, cakes that are sold packaged, packaged baked goods. These are some of the common things that we're eating. So the good stuff. Yes. The good stuff, but the unhealthy <laughs> stuff, and I, it always, I mean, it always kind of strikes me when you go to the grocery store and you pick up something and it's like today, but it says it, it doesn't end, the end date or expiration date yeah. isn't until like November. You're like, how is that even possible? <laughs> That's right. So when you see something like that, you should be looking at the ingredient list yeah. to make sure that there's not tons of additives in there that's increasing the shelf life of that product. What are the health risks? So there's been an association, that's important to note, these are association studies, mm -hmm. they have only said that this can possibly be associated with disease, it doesn't prove cause and effect. Okay. So some of those medical issues are diabetes, heart disease, like having a heart attack or a stroke, mm -hmm. many different types of cancers as well. Um, and the interesting one that I found was mental health. There's been an association between some of these processed ingredients and developing depression and anxiety by 21% in some of these studies. I know a lot of people are trying to get a, a bang for their buck, you know, with the price of everything going yeah. all up. So is it okay for us to eat ultra-processed or processed foods, you know, maybe in moderation? Yeah, that's right. So anything in moderation is good. I tell a lot of my patients who ask me this question, many people come to me for diabetes and they ask me, what can I do besides take my medications to get better? And I say, look at what you're eating mm. because food is medicine. It's important to look at those ingredients and try to limit the exposure to any chemicals and additives whenever possible. So what's a go-to if you're at the supermarket and you're, you're, you're having some cravings and you're, you just want to not have to read the, the label and to study a whole lot of stuff, what's a go-to type product? So I think the go-to products are the ones in their most natural form, right? Yeah. So fruits, vegetables, kind of shopping what they say, the perimeter of the grocery store right. where you can find all those fresh produce. Nuts are also a good, nice mm. snack item. Okay. All right. All right. Well, Dr. Dina, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having sure. me. And for more health tips, you can follow Dr. Dina on Instagram. Her information is right there on your screen.